1965, a simple human error led to one of the worst power outages in U.S. history. Over 30 million Americans found themselves in a blackout situation during a cold northeast winter. This was a case where power lines were intact and equipment was exactly where it was supposed to be. It was a small oversight that turned a tiny power surge into a big problem. Residents of the Northeast quickly became aware of just how important their power source was, and they probably didn't take it for granted anytime soon after that. Believe it or not, God's plan for your life isn't just about securing a place for you in heaven. He wants to ensure that your time on earth makes maximum impact. In the same way that we rely on power sources such as electricity and natural gas to complete tasks throughout our day. God wants us to rely on his source of supernatural power to carry out the task that he's given to us to do. What does it mean to be empowered? To be empowered suggests two things. That there's a source of power and a purpose for it. In Acts 1.8, Jesus declares, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about my life everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So there you have it. The source is the Holy Spirit. And his purpose is to make you effective in telling people about Jesus. Now that you're learning what it means to be a follower of Christ, it's time to begin putting that knowledge into practice. But God doesn't expect you to figure that out on your own. He's giving you the Holy Spirit to help. In John chapter 14, Jesus tells his disciples, when the Father sends the Advocate as my representative, that is, the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and, you will and he will remind you of everything I have told you. Once again, we see that God's systems are perfect. They don't have holes because God wants to set you up for success. The Holy Spirit's role is to help us become like Jesus. He does this by giving us insight into who God is, providing direction, showing us when we go off course, and producing spiritual fruit in our lives. Let's read what Paul has to say about the Galatians in Galatians 5. The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives, love joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. There is also a moment where, in response to our faith, the Holy Spirit releases supernatural power and abilities in our lives to benefit the people of God. This is known as the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And we first read about the baptism in Acts chapter 2. On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm. And it filled the house where they were sitting. Then... What looked like flames or tongues of fire settled on each of them, and everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. The Holy Spirit gives us power to fulfill the purpose God has for our lives, and that purpose is clear, to make God known to the world around us. People are in desperate need of the love, grace, forgiveness, goodness, and salvation that God offers. And our mission is to present it to them. We do that by serving others and the talents and abilities that God has given us. He will make this possible. The mission doesn't always feel easy, though. We live in a perpetual state of tug of war. 
The part of us that wants to do things our own way is called the flesh. And it is usually a different plan for us than God does. The good news is that because of what Jesus did on the cross, we're not slaves to the flesh and we don't have to walk in sin. The Holy Spirit enables us to walk in the Spirit instead. Consider Paul's words in Galatians 5.16. Let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. So you see, when you feel stuck or lost, the Holy Spirit is there to guide you and direct you to where God wants you to be. There is a plan for your life far bigger than you could currently imagine. But don't let that intimidate you. You're not in this alone. The same Holy Spirit that empowered Jesus lives within you. And he is available to make you capable of everything that God has prepared for you to do. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the things that he planned for us long ago. You are God's masterpiece and he's created you to do good things. The Holy Spirit provides the power and the purpose. Your part is willingness.